Alright, hey everyone, this is Daniel here from Section Store. <clears throat> and in this video, I want to show you how you can add product tabs into your product page and also how you can add dynamic data to show uh, different data on different products inside of your tabs. So let's just get straight to it. From inside of our app Section Store, you want to be searching for product tabs find the section and then purchase it for a one-time charge of nine dollars after that head over to the home page it's gonna take you there and um, add it to your theme I've already done that after just head to your theme editor and here I am inside our theme editor you want to be heading to your products and then your default product template in our case this is our demo store so we have a lot of different product templates to show our different sections but I'm gonna be finding our product tabs product page which is here all right so here it is I'm just gonna remove it so I can show you from the beginning how it's set up So you want to be clicking on add section and then finding the section, which is called product tabs. Add it in and then drag it up top for it to not jump around. And then save to see it live, then it attaches here. Usually actually it's going to attach below your add to cart buttons as default position you can change the position here's a tutorial on it I'm not going to show you in this video what I want to show you now is how you can add dynamic data into the tabs so let's say that you have a store a clothing store and you want to show what material the cloth is made of on all your different products so you would call it material probably set a new icon here and then down here you want to be clicking on this little data source which is which says insert dynamic source then you want to be clicking on add meta field there's a lot of technical details to this but I just want to show you easily how it's done so you can call it material leave this as it is and then select the type which in our case is a multi-line text because maybe there's a mix of um, different materials in your clothes and you want to show it on different lines so let's go with that one the rest you don't really need just save it up now we have this meta field and there's currently zero products that's using the meta field but we want to change that so head to the products and in our demo store here we're using this long sleeve swing shirt to demonstrate our product tabs down here you'll see the meta field just click on this long uh, empty gray field and then you can fill in the text that you would like so let's say it's 100 percent organic cotton save it up now you want to go back to the product template and reference this newly created meta field. Let's just save it up first and then you should see it here. So here it is, material. And then you can open the tab and the string of text is dynamically added into your product tabs for material. You can do this for all of the different tabs. You can also easily just add in the product description just by having this displaying here. This will automatically be as you just saw uh, when you add in the section from the beginning. All right, I hope that you found that helpful and that you can Use this on your store and maybe save some money and some page speed instead of paying monthly for an app that does this for you.